unapologetic. I said what I said. Unrepentant. When I am assertive, I'm a bitch. When a man is assertive, he's a boss. And unfiltered. If you want to say anything, you say I'm real. I'm Dominique the Diva. I am the number one most impactful. And I'm Shay Parker. Didn't I come here to impress you? Because to tell you the truth, when I leave here, I'm gone. And I don't care what you think about me. And we're not here to offend you. We're here to offend everybody. You were thinking it. I know what you said. I know. So listen, we're dishing on everything hip-hop, pop culture, and all the bullshit in between. So get your panties out a bunch and press play if you ain't scared to Diva Unfiltered. Oh, cool. What's up, y'all? Hey. Welcome to another episode of Diva Unfiltered. I think this is four, Shay? Episode four. Five, six, I don't know. We're kind of getting ahead of hang of this thing. Right? What you going through, Shay? What's up with Man, you? I haven't seen you. I know. Actually, we saw do you each like other last nails? week. I do. Thanks. I, how come it feels like I, I haven't seen you in forever, but Thanks, I, it actually was last week. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Man, like, when I tell you guys, like, this week has been a week, I've gotten my car towed. I think Mercury it won't Retro start. is over. Is that why? Is it over? I think I heard it. Okay, because I need stuff to start looking up. <laughs> it's been getting a little crazy. But I will say that there has been blessings and miracles in it all. So although I've been kind of down. What have you been down about? I'm good now. Oh, it your just car. It like... And and besides that, it just seems like every time you feel like you got a handle on stuff, oh my goodness. it's something that happens and shit just hits the fan and my it's like, boom, to, psych. My grandma used to always say, girl, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Child. And I find myself saying that all the time now. I love it's the so sayings true. that your parents said when you were little that you didn't understand and then now you're like, holy Light bulb. shit. Right. My grandma used to always be like, oh, Jesus, help us, keep us near the cross. And every time I'm watching CNN now, I'm like, Lord Jesus, <laughs> keep us help us, keep us near the cross. Don't know what Trump's doing. Man, I be telling people, send an express prayer up for me. Okay. My grandma used to always say that an express, an express prayer, prayer is, is no fees to it, Okay. but it do move your prayer Honey, up the line. get them on the main line. I need a blessing right now. Get them on the main line. <laughs> Tell them what you want. So what have you been going through? What's up? I'm going through. Okay, so my mom is getting married, and I just finished throwing her a bachelorette weekend. It was great. That you planned all by yourself? I did, Shay. Why can't? But why do you just insist on planning things yourself? I don't know. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, get out my kitchen. Like, I got this. Oh, okay. That's exactly what what it is. Like, I know I probably could use the help and probably need you to set the table, but I'll just do it. You're so like that because Didi wouldn't even (laughs) let me bring my, what's tea, bitch, cup home. She's like, I think I should just keep it here for the time of show. And I was like, I got it myself. Give me my cup. (laughs) (laughs) I am. I don't know why, but then I end up putting a lot of stress on myself. And so, um, but... Um, but I do have a huge event coming up in October um, that I'm not planning by myself. I actually hired someone to do it. Great. Ooh, masterclass. Media queens in charge. Um, what am I going through? I'm just so happy that my mom's bachelorette weekend is over and her wedding is coming up and I can mm. get that out the way. Um, otherwise, I've been pretty good. Everything else in my personal life is really, really good. I don't. I can't relate. I know. <laughs> You've just been glowing. Like glowing. And, <laughs> like highlight on fleek. I'm not going to tell Care, you why I'm carefree. Glowing. She has her shoulders out I today. I like to just be glowing and I want people to be like, yo, why is she so, why is she glowing about? Like, you know what? Because life is good. Because life is freaking good, okay? It's good. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going through. And no, my nail hasn't grown back yet for everyone else <laughs> inquiring about my nail. Wait, let me see. No. Because it, it does have like a little... It All has... right. Enough. Okay. Enough. Okay. Let's move on to what I want to talk about today. And I told you before that I didn't like her, Shay, and I, I don't. I'm starting to see the light. Now everyone understands why I think that Nicki Minaj is fucking insane. She's losing her marbles. But this is why she's making me feel like the whole Trump thingy thing. Because, you know, like Trump fans of his, they see a different world, a different news, a different point of view in everything. Mm-hmm. And, of course, like non-fans or people that's like, looking at it just to be looking. We're looking at Nikki like, what They're like, the hell? what but the, the barbs fuck? Are like, the barbs are like, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, she is Harriet Tubman. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah, that is. Like, what are you talking about? Y'all are all delusional. So, first of all, Nicki Minaj was throwing shade and gave uh, Travis Scott whole nigga of the week because he outsold her. Let's talk about what it is. <laughs> he outsold her. Period. Because only 185,000 barbs had enough back-to-school Period. allowance money. 
I don't think Nikki should drop an album in August ever again. No, no because you, you know your barbs are going back to school. Yes. They don't have money for book bags and your album at the same time, bitch. And furthermore, she was actually also selling merchandise. She tried to act like she... Well, she was selling the wrong merchandise. She should have been selling Barbie book bags, pencil <laughs> pouches, <laughs> like customized Elmer's glue, yes. barrettes, barrettes, scrunchies. Lip gloss, uh, things that kids need for back to school. Nikki, who's wearing t-shirt. who's wearing a queen hoodie in the in the dead of August? Obviously nobody because no one <laughs> bought it, and she's still bitching about him having merch. And and this is a little bit more about what Nikki had to say. Travis Scott, once he saw that we were getting the number one album in America, he had Kylie, who I love, and Baby Stormy, who I love, but I do now. I I have a, a rivalry with Baby Stormy, according to the internet. Mm-hmm. He had her go and post and say. Hey, I can't, me and Stormy can't wait to see y'all. How are you selling something that does not have anything to do with your album, but it's being counted on Billboard as album sales? Okay, but like I said, this is the thing. She was trying to sell merchandise as well. And Nicki also had a pre-link, like a pre-order link to her album months and months and months before the album even came out. Now, for all of those who aren't aware... Your pre-order sales go I believe into your, was your wor- first week. Your first week sales. So, or, or regardless, even overall sales, he still outsold you. So it he doesn't he even matter. You the first week when he wasn't there. I think she's really mad at the fact that she's pushed her album back so much all summer, so that mm-hmm. she didn't have to compete with Kanye and Nas and Tiana Taylor and Good Music and the Carters and got and thought that the coast was clear. <laughs> Because Travis, <laughs> Travis came through with Astro World, which is a great album. It's a great album. He did an from amazing the first job. Jump. It's a it's a ride. It's a roller coaster mm-hmm. ride. It's a music party. It has great production. And then I also think it's weird how no one else, no one else. I don't know why. And it could be likability and 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 if she has solid relationships in the industry. But I didn't really see other artists post Nicki's Queen album. I didn't see Drake say, "Hey, go get that." No. I didn't say. But I didn't who see does, who does Nicki she's, do it for? She's worked with two chains. I've never. I hadn't seen him say, "Hey, go." get that queen album Quavo didn't say nothing Quavo, and you know that's her little boo he didn't say nothing did Lil, Lil Uzi Takashi, did Lil Uzi say anything I don't think so I think the only person that might have posted it actually was Young Thug did I say fun? but I don't well, Future I actually didn't see that Future didn't post it Future said girl you so how much girl I'm up out of this tour <laughs> girl I heard that she's trying to do 20,000 seat venues girl in 2000 so girl Girl, she's that's like, th- now that is insane. This is about the, this thing right here with the barbs. Don't come for me, barbs, because all she needs to be doing right now, because she has Queen Ready on one eye, she needs to be addressing them. Why haven't y'all purchased my shit? That's really the bottom line. Because if she, if Nikki had put out this album, and the album ain't that bad, it ain't that good it's, to me. Yeah. The it's not that bad, bad, but, but it's not, not good. great. It's not giving me great. nineteen songs, and I literally go back to three. I go literally. back to Hard White. Oh, I go back to LLC and I go back to Good Form. Good Form is my shit. I love Good Form is first of all DJs. We're gonna give you a little. Okay. We're gonna give you guys a little tip. I'm hearing it. Play Good Form in the club and watch the girls that's go shit. crazy. All these captions that y'all don't really understand that keep popping up. That's from Good Form. <laughs> but if you listen, like the thing that makes me so mad about Nikki is because she has bars and she's such a talented artist. She is. And even on Good Form, she used good the phrase "Good Form" literally good in form. like four different. She's damn great. Ways. I don't think that people are getting like I don't think that the it's that vibe, is, that energy. The question is, it can Nikki rap? Right. We know Nikki can rap. That's not the question. The question is. Do Are you like still you? hot? <laughs> Not even. Are you still hot? Are you still making number one hits 10 years later? We talk about Drake and this whole rim run that he's had for 10 years because after 10 years, he still has bangers and number one hits time and time again. We just want to mm-hmm. know, do you have a number one album? No. Do you have a number <laughs> one hit record right now? No. No, 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 no. But do you have a number one radio show on Apple? That's great if you're a radio person out like me. But who gives a fuck? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like disappointed. The female artist of all time. Now the whole thing with Cardi, she kept trying to throw shade at Cardi when she was doing a lot of her promo, and she's been like, "Oh, but when you have a label pushing you, it doesn't mean that you're hot, and it doesn't mean that you're a threat to me." So then Cardi came back at the VMAs, honey. First of all, let's talk about the fact that if you were to put Cardi and Nicki next to each other and say, "Why which was, one the, was stripper? the stripper? <laughs> which one was the stripper? Who are you gonna circle?" <laughs> You're probably going to circle Nikki. Which one's Nikki? This is Nikki. This is her ass. <laughs> and here's Cardi. And which one? Cardi looked amazing. She looks amazing. She gives me looks. She gives me class. She gives me dresses. And yes, 
she might not open. Oh, she might make me a shortcut. When, when she like open that. her mouth, she might, you know what I'm saying? You might be like, Lord, girl. But still, it's authentic and she looks and good. And it's her. And Nikki decided, hey, I'm going to wear this bathing suit and a fashion over cover up and some heels. She looked a mess. She literally looked like a turkey leg that wasn't seasoned Ooh, yeah. yet. I did get a little hungry when I seen it. Because her legs look like turkey legs. Yeah, it was a little... Like a little fair, like the big fair. Um. And it's sad because you you know I was a Nikki fan, Nikki fan, Nikki fan, Nikki fan. Yeah, I'm I was. A fan, of course. At this point, but I've I was always been years ago. Like you can't really love it no more. Like you're like, oh, I used to love Snickers, but I ate them so much that I can't eat them anymore. I hate them. That's just what it is. Yeah, that's exactly. You know what I'm what saying it is. like I'm good off you, bruh. And this is what she, I love, Cardi. Cardi. Cardi, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Do not reply to the bullshit. Or if you it's do, it's not even worth reply it. Reply like the way she did at the VMAs when she's oh this part right here. I want to thank all my fans, my family that supported me, all the love, all the love that my fans, that my friends, that everybody shows me is genuine. It's beautiful, and that's something that God gave me that you can't buy, bitch. Cordy girl, blue. we can turn the mic and look blue, at the, blue, blue, bitch, blue, what? Blue, blue, That's blue, a fact blue. though, because you can say whatever. You know, Cardi also went on her live to say, "Look, I'm not the only female artist or the only artist on Atlantic. You know, right? Why don't they have a number one? I won't, bitch. Why don't you have a number one? If, if I don't, if, don't if, respect if they can make it. it happen. Why they haven't made it happen for you? Don't respect it unless it's directly directed. Yeah, if if Cardi doesn't say your name, I mean, I'm sorry, if Nikki doesn't say your name, Cardi. Don't respond. Because you marry, honey. You got half a million dollars on your on your finger. You got your cute little pretty baby. You got a, a, a album that came out months ago that's still in the top 10 on Billboard. You have I Like It Like That, which is number two song in the country. You got Maroon 5. You about to, honey. But listen, I think what Nicki is really scared of is Cardi eventually outselling her in a way shorter period. Well, technically, she, I mean, Cardi sold 250K with no merchandise or nothing and just dropped that album. No tour, nothing. So, I mean. But that's what happens when you are not humble, period. Humility. And then, and, and it's humility. a fine line between, you know, being humble and having humility and letting motherfuckers know what's up. Yeah. But at the same time, like, as quickly as as quickly as something is given to you, it can be taken away. And I think that is what Nikki's experiencing right now. Like, oh wait. Well, I'm I mean, you can either humble all yourself, this. but God or God is gonna humble do it for you, and it not it's not always gonna be pretty. I think it would have been okay. great had she not did so much outside of the music because we would yeah. actually be talking about the album, right the now. music, and let's right. dig back into it. But you know, actually, too. I want her to be transparent. I just want to feel relatable to her again. I don't get that vibe. I'm a girl's girl, and I don't get that vibe. Like, I, earlier today, I was listening to Queen Radio, and she was like, yeah, Queen Radio is for women empowerment. It's not believable when I saw that you personally attacked someone over their personal opinion about you who and was another black woman. And with every And then single... she's like, yeah, I shouted out Normie at the v- Normandy at the VMAs because I will not sit there and let another black woman be disrespected in my face. Um, ma'am? But you're beeping with literally every single female rapper that's out right now, except well, for Foxy Brown, who, I mean, does she count right well, now? And then maybe not necessarily beefing, but you ain't calling them queens and telling them to come on stage with you because we all, it every may not be beef, but y'all not all cool. Me. And damn it, I don't care what nobody say, Nikki killed Aretha Franklin. Why the hell you kept bringing up all her names all the time? I, I broke Aretha back. <laughs> that was I broke crazy. Aretha back. I broke that was Aretha crazy. I, now she did. <laughs> now she gone. <laughs> And we left with your ass. Rest in peace, Aretha. Yes. Lord, if we had to choose, come back. Take Nick. Take Nick. Oh, Nick no. Aretha. Wait. <laughs> I'm just playing. No. I'm just playing. Kind of. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not playing. She's not hey, playing. You're dead it, ass Lord, serious. This is how you flip it. You be like, Lord, if it's in your will. God, you know my heart. <laughs> but uh, speaking of Aretha, though, why does she have like a $70, $80 million estate and she did not leave a will, honey? And her and her and her boo name is Willie Wilkerson. They've been uh, that's her partner over the past several years. So does it go and to him? No, he's trying to get some money, and they're like, uh, we don't have any records of any type of will. And her three sons have also, you know, filed papers, interest in her estate, and there is no estate. And I heard that Aretha get, used to get paid like cash, like beforehand. You know, she was I'm old shocked. <laughs> yeah, she probably wrote it down on a piece of paper somewhere. They maybe just ain't found it. And poor Willie Wilkins. That's Wilkinson, crazy. But been... but honestly, and this is a real thing as black people. Um, yeah, we you know, need to write we, it down. we have to we have to 
like get more in tune with just our financial situation and that includes having a will and just being responsible because there's so many people that die that don't have a will and like not even because they like just didn't want to give their family anything but because they were uninformed yeah we We're not thinking about write it. Write it down. Get life insurance. Do something. Help your help when you. I feel out. like as soon as you have kids, you need to go ahead and do a will, and you need to update what about, that will every couple of years. What about when you have kids and you name them Hermesha? Oh. Okay, because that's what happened. Hermesha Robinson <laughs> had an email go viral because um, it was actually like a medical company. And they said, we, you know, we're sorry. You know how you get that letter when someone right, picks right, right, you? Right. And they're like, we don't, for some reason. Hire people named her. Yeah, she said, I'm <laughs> deeply upset, um, but we do not hire people with, quote, unquote, black sounding names, ghetto names. Um, this is the thing. It's wait, wait, like, wait. That was in the email? Yeah. They gave her the reason why they didn't yeah, hire Thank you for your interest in careers at Men- Mentality Health. Unfortunately, we do not consider candidates that have suggestive ghetto names. We wish you the best. Y'all. Jordan Kimmler. Y'all. Now, this is the They thing, wrote right? that lady that. It's not right. It's not right. I don't want people to get twisted on what we're discussing. It's not right that they did that, right? Absolutely but not. But they're not the first company that did that. And they're not the last, right? And it's been happening for years. So if we know, we, we know how to play the white man's game. We've learned that since children, mm-hmm. sometimes we do have to play the game. Mm-hmm. And if we know that, why do we continue to name people are our children Hermesha. and we're not the only race that has names of you know ethnic names people do that all the time to hispanic people who have you they know hispanic do. sounding it's last name right but think about that the next or time. even um um muslim names you know yeah. they don't so i mean it is what it is i literally it's worked for wrong. an agency in los angeles a marketing agency and the owner the hiring owner was talking about a girl that, and then she had an African name. I can't remember the name. And she was like, I mean, I don't want I don't want people to think that we're in Africa. And she looked at me and the other black girl in the office and was like, I'm gonna hire another black girl so you two can have someone to play with. She literally said that to me and I'm just like I'm I'm usually not at a loss for words, but right now but what type of damn jobs are these people applying to? Because I swear every time I apply to a job and I get the email, they don't tell me why they didn't hire me. They just right. say, um, I know it's try nice. again. Good, best of luck on your Shailen endeavors. Parker. <laughs> That's funny. No, I don't. I, Dominique, I don't know. that. And then people be like, what about celebrity names? But this is the thing. Blue Ivy, they're not filling out job applications like you. Jaquan, so we know this is not really right. Blue Ivy. Okay. <laughs> Apple, Seven, all them crazy kids' names. They Apple. Listen, <laughs> Northwest, Saint, Chicago. Chicago. They not filling out applications, my dog. Blanket. But focus on your legacy, and then you can name your kid whatever the hell you want. Ooh. Moving on. Speaking of kids. Well, I'm going for a Kennedy. What if you? <laughs> I like a that. Kennedy, a Blake. I don't want to tell y'all my children's <laughs> names. Because I've been seeing some ugly kids with these names, and I'm I'm trying to get them out of my head so I can name my child that. You ever see, Aww. like, a cute Damien, and then you see an ugly one, and it kind of fuck the whole shit up? Like, damn, Damien. Why you? You can't be t- saying nobody kids is I ugly. know, but they keep posting their kids on Facebook, and then I, what I'm supposed to do? Daniel Stay on Facebook Jenkins like I do. <laughs> is on my page 20 times. I don't watch this whole kid grow up. I don't watch them pee, take his first steps, and I can't say your baby got to be head. Well, I can't recommend that you wait <laughs> and tell your baby grow a neck first before you put him in some Jordans on my time. Stop like, stop putting y'all newborns on, on social media. They look crazy. <laughs> newborns are not cute. Listen, I just got cute in 2012. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I, I can say I was an ugly baby. <laughs> Ditto. You know like, whatever. And for that reason, I will not be showing y'all my child either. But anyway, what if you went on a date with someone two times, right? Because this, okay. this situation is it's a viral um text message thread that's been going on and very debatable but this young lady had asked a dude for twenty dollars okay and that doesn't sound bad does it i'm with you here all right so here's how the conversation goes the girl goes i need twenty dollars the dude goes twenty dollars to do what babe my kids have a trip tomorrow and they ain't tell me till today shaking my head oh well damn well they just have to not go babe they told you too late wow so you can't give me 20 bucks Babe, you're going to have to ask the kid's father for that kind of stuff. You know what? I don't want to talk to you no more. 
And he goes, okay, well, then it was fun while it lasted, but me giving you money will never work unless you're my wife. I'm sorry. You got three kids and two fathers for those kids. Those men got to give you that money, sweetie. You can't be asking me for that. She goes, shaking my head, okay. He goes, ask their fathers. That's, you know, that's their children. They need to give you money for things like this. That's their responsibility. She goes, okay, well, if you want parts of me, I would think I could come to you for help. Clearly, I was wrong. They dad don't have it, so I asked. So I figured I'd ask, but it's cool. You're selfish and mean, but what you want, but want what you want. I know it's their dad's responsibility. I'm sorry, I can't read. First of all, how is he <laughs> selfish and mean? He didn't say anything. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna save mean. my comments for the rest so of the story. So then she goes, "I'm mainly a single mom. It's cool. I get it. Because when it comes to my kids, I always make a way. I will borrow from someone else." She goes, <laughs> "He goes, sweetie. Their dads have twenty dollars." <laughs> <laughs> Tell You're them not going to sit up here and tell and me. And it's too late to be stressing yourself out. If not, they just won't go on the trip. And she goes, I asked for a favor or something, and you can get back. Just leave me alone. He goes, um, if you had to ask me for $20, I doubt you were going to pay me back. <laughs> you broke, said, bitch. Right. <laughs> you broke, bitch. <laughs> First of all, I feel bad for her because why are y'all out here ha- having sex and having kids by niggas that will you $20? Time out. He said you got three kids by two baby daddies, so you mean to tell me between the three of y'all, y'all couldn't find five dollars to put fifteen together and then ask grandma, granddad, uncle, auntie for the other five? You mean to tell me I done had kids by these niggas and I'm texting two, three of them and I can't get eighty quarters? So you mean to tell me that I had kids by two broke ass niggas? So you mean to tell me my pussy's so trash that I can't even get twenty dollars to get my kids to the museum? Not only that, my pussy's so trash that the dude that I'm talking to now won't even give me twenty dollars. You mean to tell me? <laughs> you know what? My pussy ain't worth twenty. Throw the whole pussy away. Throw the whole pussy away. No, but okay. So she, he goes. He continues. He goes. I do not give people my money. Sorry. Isn't that fair? That's fair. It's some people, and I didn't used to be that person before that would give money. I can give you all types of resources. I'll give you a ride. I'll pay for your food, all that. But I wouldn't give money. Hand That's you just money. Yeah. Me. I'm a little different now. Um, but he goes, okay, no problem. I'll leave you alone because you're mad at the wrong nigga to <laughs> direct that nigga, direct that energy to the kids' fathers. So, of course, is that the end of the conversation? I can't see the thing. So, of course, a lot of people were in the comments and were upset. But actually, I had to side with the guy. Me too. Siding with the guy. Team guy. First of all, like he said, those that's those fathers' responsibility. Absolutely. Period. Now, of course, if you're dating someone and you guys have been dating for a while, then, yeah, if they have kids, then you should love their kids because you love them. However, these people have been on two dates. Two dates, bro. Two I don't dates. even know if I like you like that. And you got two baby daddies. Bro, come on. So you and your baby daddy, both, neither one of y'all got $10 for this kid? Honey... I don't, I, what I really want to talk up to is is the women that were in the comments like, yeah, that's not right. But it's like, and but then other people were like, well, you would help. I could help someone on the street. I don't even have to know them. This is ridiculous. Over twenty dollars. It is his prerogative on whether he wants because it's not about the twenty dollars. Because it's the it principalities up, of it, Smokey. It, it opens, opens the, door the door for you to ask me for, for more money, for your children, for you to ask me for soccer uniforms and for cheerleading uniforms. Exactly. And it starts a whole train because you're going off of this single mom thing. And honestly, ladies, we gotta start taking responsibility for the choices that we make. Yeah. You chose to have three kids by two baby daddies period who ended up not (laughs) wanting to be with you or the relationship didn't work out for whatever reason and now you're a single mom stop blaming everybody else and expecting everybody else to do for you for decisions that you made yeah i know your kids are the greatest thing that happened to you because girl you know they love to say that greatest thing that ever happened to me (laughs) we know y'all all all don't love but y'all don't all love y'all kids like that all the time but if you had text me after two dates you would have got the same reaction you wouldn't have got no reaction no i wouldn't have responded to you that's why i don't date guys with kids because I don't give a fuck about Lil Ray Ray. <laughs> I really don't. It sounds kind of bad when you say it out loud. But when I say it in my head, I be like, yeah, that makes sense. But I really don't. But though. I really don't. And, and and for that reason, I don't put myself in the position to even do that. Because to I, even have to I, care. I already know. Because I don't yeah. want to care. And then I think it also depends. Like, young kids, a lot of times you see, like, people in these new relationships. And, like, one or the other has these super young kids that are, like, under four or five. No! 
You know, then, you know, niggas always want their families. It was something else I when want I my saw family back. Uh, I saw something else when they were talking about a back to school thing, and, and one of the dads was upset because the mother split the back to school money between all the kids. Now that's a little bit different because I'm still taking care of the kid, but I mean, if Ray Ray and John John need T-shirts, but only John John Daddy gave me the money, Ray Ray can get one of his shirts. That's his brother, right? I don't know. I just don't have kids. Yeah, I mean, so never yeah, mind. That's, I don't that's even talk about it. I want to go. That's hard. I mean, I I think I don't think like she's I think doing you shouldn't. Best. I I don't so, think that you should just send you the money. Continue to have kids by multiple people. If you have one child out of wedlock, I think you should go ahead and like rethink that and move differently as you move Maybe. through life towards the future. Like but that, that's though. just that's just my listen. You're just able to say that because you have because I can kids. actually yeah. take birth control. A lot of people get sick with birth control. I have so many friends who birth. Any I'm on type birth of birth control. control makes them sick. Like one of my the pill, hungry. the shot, every yeah, the pill makes me hungry. But luckily, I don't have like crazy symptoms. So hey, I don't have kids. No, but I mean, and... I asked my mom that because I mean, <laughs> I, my little brother and I we were born like a, a year apart, and I'm like, what the same dude? He wasn't even there for me. Like, ma, what's up? I, I mean, <laughs> and it just happens, like you know. Yeah. But when it comes to money and children, understand that you know you are the sole. Right, you know, responsibility. Mm -hmm. And after going on two dates with a guy, I don't really think it's acceptable to expect and be upset that he will not give you 20 bucks for your children. So I got a question. And he was actually nice, much nicer about it. What's your question? So, you know, we make pretty decent money, you know, yeah. and we can take care of ourselves. Yeah. But I'm still trying to figure out how these people be taking care of so many kids. And being made at Miami every weekend. What's going on? How are these How are these Where girls the who make minimum wage going on more trips than I go on? I don't know, girl. They don't be working how you be working. Maybe they got baby daddies that got more than $20. Yeah. I don't know. Now. Well, best of luck. <laughs> best of luck with you and your kids. And what was it about $20? I feel like this whole retrograde, like everybody, the, the number has been $20. Like it's been mad. It was like $20. I'm like, yeah. damn. I'm like, I need $20. Right. I need you twenty dollars. It's crazy because somebody owes me twenty dollars right See? now. See, cough it up. <laughs> Get my money back. Look, if you owe me ten, you ain't giving me nine. Give me okay. my money. Okay. All right. This also happened really quickly. Um, there's a teacher that's been suspended in North Carolina because on the side she's also a pole dancing instructor, and she put a video up on Facebook. Now, pole dancing instructor, she wasn't clapping it, she ain't shaking it. Like I taken pole dancing for fitness, like strictly for upper body strength. Like, right. It was nice and in good taste. But the school suspended her um, because they don't want her teaching, you know, in middle school. And I'm just like, why don't y'all pay teachers more? And then she wouldn't have a half, have to have, have, a, to side have a side hustle. hustle in the first place. What do you think about that? Would you let her continue to teach her? Like, I understand. I understand where they were coming from with it because kids can get that very confused. Like yeah. to them, to them in their mind, it's not a pole dance instructor. Well, what about it's the um, Caucasian stripper. teachers? That's you know, getting her vagina ate by the fifth grader. In gym class. I mean, she got, wait. <laughs> I was Every like, time I look, I was it's like, always wait. like, she got fired too, right? A white woman having <laughs> sex with one of her students. And you want to, you know, this kid is just trying to. Why do white girls act like they, it's so hard to get dick out here? I don't they know. They be so I actually saw it. Like, like three white guys, they were like, got caught just now for having sex with a bunch of animals. And, that's, and they got in trouble for it. They got a 14 hundred counts of sexual whatever whatever because a 16 year old was watching them have sex with goats and horses and how do you have sex with a goat but how do you even get a goat or a horse hard for that? still enough to, to even oh my god if i google that is that gonna come up like at my work computer like i want to yeah, see don't google that don't you google ever that. seen a dolphin's <laughs> penis before no it's huge it, is it really Let's it google. comes out Google it. It comes out. Um, what else have so, you we caught up on? Oh, XX Extension. His girlfriend was pregnant and she just announced she's having a baby boy. So he aw, lives on again. Congratulations. Congrats. Her, um, but it is sad that it is you know. sad. Have you did you watch Insecure? That's back. I did not watch Insecure. Okay, and you can I'm catch up on it. Talk about it because Power didn't tell us they weren't gonna have an episode this past week. That threw me off. Why do they do that? That shit makes me so give us mad. Like five episodes a season. They like, yeah, we chilling this week. Like, like, <laughs> no, I, I need it every Sunday, every Sunday from start of the season to the end. And I watch it twice and still don't know what the hell. Going the on. only time we should be having a break is if there is a holiday. Period. Period. And I don't think they're going to do that Labor Day weekend. I'm, I'm, Why I'm did I sure. Google dolphin pins? Penis. Sorry, penis. Don't Google that at home, friends. Anyway, what are you most looking forward to in the upcoming weeks? Um, 
Oh, wow. My mom's oh, getting wow. married. Um, oh, so I'm wow. looking forward to that. What are you looking forward to, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to going to Miami for the On the Run and show, now, Labor Day weekend. I'm looking forward to Drake and Migos tour, and I'm looking forward to... It was one of the tour, Astro World tour. I want to see Ooh. Travis Scott in Baltimore and DC. It's gonna be so lit. And Nikki, you can just save that tour, honey, for another lifetime because no one gives a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Tell her I said it. I'm most excited about Travis tour because he's so involved in the creative side of his yeah. set, and I think it's just gonna be amazing. And he has a daughter now, and he's, he's in a relationship. So cute. And I can't believe she's beefing with Nikki already. She hasn't even been a year. Stormy, yet. Stormy, you you tell these people fuck. Stormy Nikki. was living her best life. I can't believe I'm really disappointed in Nikki. It's really sad. This it whole is. Queen era is sad. And they're like, and she's like, oh, duh. I'm just doing it because I pushed my album back and so I don't have time to rehearse. You would if you would get off Twitter and off Queen Radio. Mm -hmm. Stop making excuses. I just need that one friend that's going to talk to her with her teeth clenched. Like, chill sit down. Such a That's how like you know you got real friends. Like, yeah. like if, I, if I was just kicking it with you and I walk away and I got a booger on my nose or I got something in my mouth, I'm not fucking with you no more because you should have told me. Now I know we're not real friends. I don't want to be around nobody that's going to let me have a booger in my right, nose. Right, let son. me walk around looking crazy. I don't want nobody crazy. got something. I got stuff on my lip, but my lip lost and <laughs> fucked up. And I'm out here talking to you. That's how I know you ain't my real friends. And that's all Nikki got around her right now. People mm -hmm. that's just like, yes, Nikki, you're the best rapper in life in the world. Yes. You're a queen. Yes, no. you're the best. No. She need that person that's about to keep it funky. And I hope she walking around with a booger in her nose right now. Oh. Yeah, and, and yup. Yeah, Shay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not fucking with it no more. We were talking about in our in our text messages earlier, and I'm just like, I'm over it. I'm tired of trying to save Nikki. I'm tired of trying to be that hard friend that's it's like, hard being a barb. I'm being a clown, but I love you. You're being a clown, but I love you. Now it's just you're being a clown. Why do people equate shit. money with coolness? Because I see people that don't that have a lot of money that are corny every day in this industry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, I enjoy, like I would rather, like, and somebody, I tweeted this and, and some, some corny dude was like, well, I'd rather be corny than be broke. Really? No. Really, I, I think nigga? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna choose the broke really, part over nigga? corny. It's harder to change corny. It's, it's very easy to change corny. broke. It's easy to change broke because Hello? I'm still cool with it. You know what I'm saying? You know? I got what I got. But you still corny though with that. You're corny you. regardless. And people that's <laughs> never sat at the cool kids table might be fooled by you. But somebody like me gonna be like, nah, No, you're corny. You're still corny, son. Yep. And she still got them Chinese letter tattoos on her arm, son. That means it's still probably a baby fat tramp stamp on there. And that's honestly, corny, bruh. Honestly, the <laughs> fact that you dated Safari so long <laughs> and tried you to keep it hidden, that's how I know you corny. Because that is, now that, that's a corny somebody. And to be honest, I don't think he said it as bad as things that he could have said. And another thing is he did share something about her stabbing him or something one night and things like that. And I think it's funny how if she would have came out and said, Safari stabbed me one night, it would be this whole other it's, yep. Me yep, too yep, movement yep. thing. And we believe it because Nikki looked like she probably tried to stab Girl, she daddy in. Safari. I'm sure oh, wait. I think she said it on the pink print, actually, in one of her songs. Well, but. I wish she would say something. And also with this album, I don't feel like she shared a lot about her relationships. Nope. And then the one song that she allegedly pushed back for to get the Tracy Chapman uh, thing was a song with Nas that she released after. And no one, have you heard it? No. Nope. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? Nobody heard it and no one cares. Oh. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. Barbs, if you want to see me, see me then. You feel me? Right. All right, then. Tell them what to follow you, follow you, Shay. All right, follow me on Twitter and social media at I am Shay Parker. We're going to walk outside. It's going to be a whole bunch of <laughs> gay barbs outside situation. with their fucking wigs, ready to slap the shit out of us. We're going to get a damn <laughs> panty filter. Right, we going out the back. We going out the back. We'll catch you next time. Thank you for getting unfiltered, yeah, bitch.